Welcome back to Morgan's video blog, Morgan's online blog in video format. Today I'm here with novel, novella, or short story. This is part 11 of my Virtual Balticon panel write-up notes. This will be my final Virtual Balticon write-up, at least based on these notes. So the panel description was as follows, although as we know, not all panels stay strictly on the panel description topic. So what is the right length for your story idea? How does outlining, submitting, revising, and other aspects of the writing craft change with story length? How do you go about rewriting a story for a drastically different word count? Panelists will discuss various techniques they have used and the pros and cons of each. The panelists were Don Sakers as moderator, Monica Luzon, Karen Osborne, Sarah Pinsker, and Margaret Riley. Now, the size of a story is often dictated by the scope of the idea that spawned it. While some experienced writers can tell from the shape of a concept how long their story will be, it's often a case of trial and error and years. So let's talk about why write short stories. Writing short stories is the art of writing less. It lets you have fun and explore new ideas while novels are a commitment, short stories um, don't require you to be in for that long haul. Typically, your short story is going to follow one major thread or concept within a short time period and with minimal characters. Short stories are often very zoomed in microchasms of a world and story and person's life. In short stories, you don't put in huge bits of backstory, although, as always, you can write it for yourself and cut it out during revisions. Now, if you find yourself getting your short stories rejected, it may be time to follow panelist Monica Luzon's lead and do some research. Look at the anthologies in your genre that are currently selling. Then read them until something resonates. Then reread and study those stories. Examine where they start, where they end, their pacing, and maybe think about how you would change those. Next, why write novellas? Novellas can zoom out a little, cover more story, more ground. You can concentrate on one to two relationships in a novella. Novellas can cover one to two or two to three plot threads, an additional character or two, and a longer time period than the typical short story, but their scope isn't quite enough for a full-length novel. This doesn't make them lesser in any way. Readers can tell if you've padded your novel for word count, and cutting a true novella to a short story robs it of much of its plot and heart. While some people use novellas to write serials, you have to be sure that you aren't going to want to edit your earlier episodes to set up later ones better. It depends on your level of planning and how you deal with plot holes. If you do write serials, you will need spreadsheets and records for every character. And if you find yourself writing a little too much about a certain minor character, they might should be flipped and become the main character. It's up to you to determine how you want your story to proceed. So finally, why write novels? Well, novels are far more just forgiving with description and room for character development and world building, novels can carry complex plots and concepts and time periods 
far longer than could be touched on in a novella or short story. And this doesn't mean that you can throw away all those skills. Many writers do pace their chapters like a series of short stories, and that works for many writing styles. So determining which you have, if you're not sure, you can try outlining your story and plot and see how far you get. Do you have 10 or fewer scenes? That's probably a short story. Around 20 scenes, probably a novella. More than 30? You're looking at novel territory, especially if those scenes are more than a paragraph or two. Now, if you're against planning, the only way to find out is to write it. So let me know in the comments below, which do you prefer, short stories, novellas, or novels? And is that the story length you prefer to read? Have you ever been wrong about a story length and had to fix it? Tell me all about it in the notes below. Thank you for watching and tune in again next week for more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.